Did he ever ask you to, for lack of a better description, lie, cheat, or steal? No, sir. The testimony of Brandon Kamek took nearly all day. Kamek is the outside counsel Paxton hired to investigate claims from campaign donor Nate Paul that the FBI and other agencies improperly searched his property. Never ask you to hide any record, conceal anything you did, dispose of, of anything that you obtained? No, sir. Next, Joe Brown was called a potential candidate for the outside counsel. The prosecution tried to make the case he was passed over to Kamek due to having more experience. Then Kendall Garrison was called, the president and CEO of Amplify Credit Union, to discuss how foreclosures of three Nate Paul properties were withdrawn due to a midnight letter issued by the AG's office surrounding foreclosure auctions during the pandemic. It was surprising uh, to see a ruling issued uh, on a Sunday night or Sunday morning, I believe, uh, maybe it was Monday morning, um, that uh, essentially prohibited foreclosures uh, in the state of Texas. Something the defense challenged him on. You sold all three notes and your bank lost zero dollars as a result of whatever this informal legal guidance was, correct? Uh, that is correct. We ultimately sold those notes. The day ended with another whistleblower, a former deputy from the Attorney General's office, Darren McCarty. He oversaw the AG's involvement into a lawsuit between the Mitty Foundation nonprofit and Paul. There was a certain urgency and almost anxiety around um, what we were doing in the Mitty uh, foundation lawsuit. While the defense makes the argument McCarty ultimately signed off on the intervention, McCarty contests deep concerns ultimately led him to the FBI with his colleagues. Unethical, against our statutes, and uh, I suspected, I highly suspected corrupt. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and get the latest news by downloading the CBS Austin News app.